So on my 40th birthday, I made an appointment to get my mammogram done and I took a picture of the script and I put it on Facebook. And I told my friends, I said, this is what I'm giving myself for my birthday, the gift of health. What are you giving yourself? Went for my mammogram and I was fine. Lapsed on my 41st, a lump was felt. Went to the doctor, had the diagnostic mammogram done, biopsy done, and everything that was found was cancer. So I went from a clean mammogram to four masses bilaterally, had a double mastectomy six days later, and started 16 rounds of chemo uh, about a month and a half after that. Before I could actually digest it, I was kind of just taken on this journey. When I was diagnosed, I didn't have breast cancer survivors to speak to. I had a very supportive family. My doctors were great, but I didn't have anyone to say, hey, Carrie, this is what I felt when I went through this. Hey, Carrie, this is probably a side effect or this is what you're going to go through and your anxiety is normal and all of this is normal. So after I rushed through and went through everything and woke up from my chemo and medication fog and got pulled into Susan G. Coleman world, um, I wanted to be that person. I wanted to be that person to share my journey and let a woman know you could look at me and say, you had cancer? You're 41, you're healthy, you're a non-smoker, you have no medical history in your family. That happened to you? How did you do it? And that's what I want. I want people to see that there could be a healthy face to having gone through a breast cancer journey. Don't be afraid to go to the doctor. Be afraid when you don't go. And um, the strength, I didn't know I had it until I needed it. I didn't know that I had this in me until the cancer brought it out of me. I just feel like everybody's journey is different. So how they embrace it is their own. There's no right or wrong. And I said this to a woman the other day. I said, you know what? How you get through this path is gonna be right because it's yours. But you need to know that the strength is in there. You just might not see it yet. But that day when you have to go for chemo or you have to have that surgery, that's when that strength is gonna come out and you're gonna embrace it.